All right, lesson five is uh, normal distribution. We're still dealing, dealing with data, mean, standard deviation. Uh, we won't have to calculate out standard deviation anymore, so that will be nice. So what we're looking at is this normal curve. Okay, so on the, all these problems today that you do, you're going to have to draw out this normal curve. So I'm just going to make my x-axis. Um, I'm, I'm just going to kind of sketch this curve like this, roughly. It's a bell-shaped curve. And we're going to divide it up. So you divide it in the center. Um, we're going to divide it again, again. Um, I believe we're going to go there. And then the last chunk is out like that, okay? So there's really, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sections in this normal curve, okay? And we're gonna put a percent in each section. This percent will be the same on every problem. So every problem, just start out by drawing this. These first sections here are 34% of the data, okay? Uh, these next sections here, 13.5%. Just put these in, I mean, every problem you just need to draw this exact picture with these exact percents. And you'll see what it all means here in a minute once I get it done. Okay, 2.35% of these next two sections. And this far out section, 0.15%. 0.15%. So just draw this. I think there's three problems you got to do today. Draw this out on each problem. And then we got to fill in what goes under each of these lines. So put these, put these spaces... There's like, there's like lines under, or I'm going to fill in right under each of these lines here, okay? Each of these dividing lines, okay? And this is the mean. What goes here is the mean plus uh, one standard deviation. And then what goes here? You guys still see this? Yeah, is my mean plus uh, two standard deviations and so on. Down here, it'll be my mean minus one standard deviation. And then here's like my mean minus two standard deviations. Okay, so. We'll do an example. I think that will all make more sense when we do an example. But just realize I'm going to draw the exact same curve on each example. Okay, so example number one. Uh, let's just make it simple. Um, population. I'm just kind of making this up, guys, to be honest with you. But you'll have some specific examples on your homework. Um, deer uh, has a weight. with mean, they'll give you a mean, 140 pounds, and a standard deviation of six pounds, okay? Draw the normal curve, okay? That's basically what you're gonna have to do today. So draw it out, okay? Make a curve. Not really too concerned that you make a nice curve, but we do got to divide it up. Okay. Each side gets like divided. Three more lines here. One, two, three, and put these spaces underneath. You got to do this to get credit on the one today. It's a little bit tedious, but pretty easy. Put your percents in. They're always the same. You can just look at this. You don't need to memorize these. I mean, maybe you will eventually memorize them after you do a few of these, but 13 and a half, 2.35, 0.15 is this last section. Okay. So how do we fill it in? The mean goes in the middle. 140 pounds goes here. Standard deviation is six. That means I got to add six going up here, 146. That's that mean plus one standard deviation, like I said here, you know. And now I'm going to go the mean plus two standard deviations, which means add on six twice. So plus six plus six, I'm going to add 152. And then keep adding six. 
Uh, we're at 158. Okay, going down, I'm going to subtract 6. So 134, 128, 122. And then the questions will be like this. I'll just give you a few questions that will go along with this. Uh, it'll say like something like this. What percent of deer uh, weigh more than... Uh, 146 pounds. Okay, so you're going to add up, you're going to look at 146, which is here, and say, hey, it's all more than 146 pounds. We're talking over here. So we got 13.5 plus 2.35 plus 0.15. Sorry, squish it in there. Okay, I'm adding up these three things because that's the ones that are more than 146, the percent. Okay, I'm looking at these percents that are above 146. 146 is right here, this line. Go above, add them up. Okay, can I do that in my head? 15.85, I'm sorry, yeah, 15.85 plus 0.15. I think it just comes out to 16 percent. Okay. Uh, one other question, maybe be something like this. What percent of deer weigh between, let's pick two, uh, between 128 and 152? 152 pounds. Okay. Hopefully you can read this. Sorry, it's getting kind of little. What percent of deer weigh between 128 and 152? So I'm looking here, 128 to 152. Well, I got to go all these ones in between, okay? All the percents in between, I got to add up. All right, so basically 13 and a half, 34, 34, 13 and a half, add those up. Okay, so 13.5 plus 34 plus 34 plus 13.5, add them up. Uh, what are we talking? 13 and a half, 13 and a half is 27 plus 68, 88, 95, I think, 95%, if I add it up right, 95% are in here. So we'd expect 95% of deer in the population to be between 128 and 152. You know, most of the deer then are there. You get out here at this higher standard deviation, we don't expect many deer to weigh 158 pounds, okay, in this, in this population. I'm not a real deer expert, so I don't know how much a deer actually weigh, to be honest. But in this population, if you weighed 158, you'd be quite a heavy deer. If you weighed only 122, uh, you would be considered a very light deer because there's not many here. So, you know, this is showing what percent we expect to be at certain weights or between certain weights. Okay? That's what the normal distribution does. It tells us what we would expect to happen. Uh when things are normally distrib distributed, most a lot of data sets are normally distributed, meaning they make this bell-shaped curve. Okay, They get high near the average, and then they taper off as you go out, and as you get farther and farther out, it tapers down more and more. Okay? I think that's all you need. Basically, your three, three problems are like this. Make sure you fill in everything, and then answer the questions.